Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a metallic fall gradient. I'm going to stamp some leaves on it. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat. I'll be using these CoverGirl Outlast polishes. This first one is called Sulfur Blaze. It's crazy beautiful yellow. And I've got the Quick Dry and my latex out. So I've done the, the Sulfur Blaze as my base color. And here it is again. We're going to also use it for the gradient. And then this one is Inferno. And then the last one in the gradient is called Rogue Red. I have a dampened makeup sponge that I've cut in half. And I'm just going to apply these polishes in little strips across the sponge. And then I'm going to dab, dab, dab. <laughs> and this one took a little bit of building up. And I'm not cutting any of that out. You're going to get to see all the rounds on that fingernail right there. Um, I didn't show you me doing all the nails, but, you know, we're going to show, you know, all the rounds. I don't remember how many it was. It was quite a few. They, it, took a, it took a minute to, and it might have gone faster if I'd have used a different base color. I don't know, but I really, really loved this one. All that foily, shimmery goodness in some fall colors. Yes. <laughs> and here we go with some more building up. You just do it with your polishes until you're happy with how it looks. And I need a little bit more red down on the tip, so I'm just using just the red. Just doing that red on the tips. And then I'll do some more blending here in a minute. So then I'm going to use the more orangey red and the red. And go in for some more rounds. See if I can get this built up just the way I want it. And I've noticed sometimes some fingernails just, you know, do different. And that, that one that I was working on on film was my tricky one this time. I'm going to go ahead and remove my liquid latex with this piece of tape. I have, um, I really do like doing it this way, uh, you know, just seems to be working good for me. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and just do a little bit more tidying up. Not too bad, not too bad a clean, it, a clean up because I did my latex. If I had not done my latex, I'd have been scrubbing at this for a while. And if you're allergic to latex, you can do the tape method. I used to do that all the time before I learned about latex products. And there we go. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down before we do the stamping. And also, this doing this top coat, this step, it blends your gradient out and just it just makes it look more smooth and I just, it's always magical to me when I do the top coat over gradients. It's like, oh, how gorgeous. I love it. I just, ugh. Today I'm going to be using BM04 and Nicole Diaries NS02, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. And I'm just going to use this little leaf image here. It's got three leaves. They're um, different sizes, and I just thought they were really, really cute. I'm going to try to line it up going from the tip up. Ta-da! There we go. I'm going to clean that plate off with some acetone and go at it again. And I am really enjoying this little tiny silicone mat for uh, stamping. It keeps my workspace clean, and if I need to move it out of the way because it's got paint all over it or polish all over it, I can. I just toss it to the side, and I've got a clean workspace again. I am using that excess polish from the scraper to go back over this image that I just picked up. And voila, there we go. And one more. Do it one more time, Tina. Come on. Just one more time. There we go. And I am cleaning that excess up so it doesn't get stamped onto my nail or my finger or anything else. 
So this stamping was very clean. I've only got one little bitty tiny part to clean up, and I cleaned that up off camera. I'll be using the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat to do my first layer. And I'm going to let that dry completely. And then I'm going to go in with my Posh and do my final top coat. I'm going to dial you in so you can see what's going on with all this bling tasticness. This is a favorite Manny for sure. This is one of those I could not stop looking at and really, really enjoyed wearing. Very nice. So, there we go. That is it. Well, I've got a swatch photo. Here we go. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.